In recent years, the Die Grünen, or Green Party of Germany, has become more and more influential in German politics. In 2011, Winfried Kretschmann became the first Green Party official to become elected the minister president or governor of one of the states of Germany. Kretschmann was elected as the minister president of Baden-Württemberg, the southwesternmost German state, which is also home to Freiburg, which became in 2002 the first large city in Germany to have a mayor coming from the Green Party. Now, besides the fact that he was the first Green Party official to become governor of a state, he is also the governor of the state that has recently had the strongest growing economy within Germany. In fact, Baden-Württemberg is based on the so-called traditional German industries of automotive, electrical, chemical, and metalworking industries. And as such, his economic policies are projected to have significant impact on the economy of the entire German country. Central to Kretschmann's economic policies is belief that the traditional concept of growth is outdated and obsolete because it is strictly based on you know gross domestic product. And he gives an example. If you if you crash your car into a tree and total your car, then you are having a positive effect on the traditional view of growth because you have to buy a new car and you're thus promoting you know more and more production. However, he's saying that this is outdated because economic prosperity of the state is merely on loan from the environment. So while you may be producing more and more from a gross domestic product viewpoint, you're also simultaneously degrading the environment. Consequentially, Kretschmann wants to impose various environmental regulations on various industries in Baden-Württemberg. And this has become controversial since these industries are at the heart of the economy in Baden-Württemberg. The main concern is that environmental policies and regulations will cause these industries to move elsewhere, such as to Bavaria or Poland or the Czech Republic or Slovakia. And in response, Kretschmann claims that these regulations will be very gradual and be framed in terms of technological advances so that, for example, carbon emission regulations would be encouraging companies to develop new technologies and remain at, at the forefront of their markets. These gradual changes, or you know, what he terms the quiet revolution that he wants, are in line with the more pragmatist side of the Green Party that he belongs to, the so-called realos, or those who follow a sort of realpolitik philosophy. However, this does not mean that he is any less committed to the environmental causes, or he is not as, as radical in how he wants to change the economy or the environmental policies of Baden-Württemberg. For instance, he is a very outspoken critic of what's called Stuttgart 21, which is this new high-speed rail project that, that is under construction in Stuttgart. However, a recent referendum showed that up to 60% of the local populace actually supports the construction of Stuttgart 21, which allows you know high-speed rail connections to, to Paris and Vienna. And I actually saw this firsthand when I was in Stuttgart three months ago. When talking to local people, I found that actually most people under 30 really supported the construction of Stuttgart 21, and the the protesters were actually a very small minority, a very small but vocal minority of uh, Stuttgarters. And on the other hand, Kretschmann in the interview states that the protests against Stuttgart 21 are just an example of how building bigger isn't better, another example of how the traditional view on growth is outdated because He's saying that a lot of people don't agree with building this new and large underground rail station and that these protests demonstrate how, how his policies are popular and make sense. But Stuttgart 21 aside, in the big picture, Kretschmann is incredibly popular in Baden-Württemberg. He was just re-elected this March for another term as minister president. And, you know, Baden-Württemberg remains not only the leader of Germany in terms of environmental reform and regulations, but at the same time, they still remain the strongest German state in terms of traditional GDP growth. So over the next few years, we will probably see Kretschmann continuing to lead his quiet revolution in terms of these cautious yet pragmatic environmental regulations and economic changes. <laughs>